Hello, hello everyone! This is Light Shadow, and today we're doing another slime fun guide. So, we are doing another one of our beginner's guides. This time it's going to be on the automatic ignition chamber, which is why I have a couple of the machines we've already gone over in previous videos already set up. The smeltery, which is from this video just before this, because that's the main thing we're using this for, and an enhanced crafting table for actually constructing this, because unlike normal things, it's not actually a multi-block. So we're going to open up our guide and go to basic machines. You can see just after smeltery is the magnet ignition chamber, and right before pressure chamber it is right here as well. So as you can see, the automatic ignition chamber prevents the smeltery from using up fire. Just fill it up with flint and steel and place it adjacent to the smeltery's dispenser. So, as you can see, this is our recipe, and right here it shows it's in the enhanced crafting table that I already constructed for us. We need a basic circuit board, a flint and steel, four iron ingots, and an observer. So we're going to take these and put them just as it shows right here with our iron ingots going for a number pad on slot 7, 4, 9, and 6. Then our basic circuit board's going to go right on number 5. The flint and steel's going to go right on number 8. And the observer's going to go right on number 2. And just a right click. And as you can see, we have our automatic ignition chamber. Now I'm going to install it right here. It does not matter what way you face it, it will work as long as it's stuck right next to the dispenser like so. I suggest sticking it onto the back just for convenience of being able to access your front dispenser and such. Now we're going to put our gold dust in here. So you might notice if we just click on it, nothing happens. If we put our flint steel in there, still nothing happens. Because you need to first pre-light your fire, just like that. And then you put your flint and steel right in here. And because it has the flint and steel, when you're going through and just trying to craft, like, for instance, we're doing, like, free 24 karat gold ingots. Normally, we would have to click a whole bunch of times, but look at that. It stayed lit. And we're going to look right back in here, and you can see it used a little bit of the durability of the flint and steel. So you can have up to nine flint and steels already pre-set up in there. You just need to mirror to have your fire lit. Because if the fire is lit and it's all set up like this, it will work perfectly for you. This is going to help with getting bigger projects done, so that's the main reason you'll want to make it. Plus, it's nice, cheap, and easy to make. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my Twitch. Link will be in the description below. I do live streams on there that are mostly slime fun related. And whenever they're not, I'm still open to hearing questions and such, so I can answer questions and hopefully do live demonstrations if needed to help with anything you're wondering about. But yes, this is Light Shadow, signing out. Bye bye everybody!